Hey y'all, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. On this video, I'm gonna give you three steps, three tips, and how to find nice live blue crabs or fresh dead blue crabs so you can go fishing for redfish or whatever other fish eats blue crabs, like black drum. <laughs> guys well one of the ways you can get blue crabs for bait is trapping them get yourself a trap like this from Walmart and it only costs like 30 bucks or so get them all set up put you some fish in here even maybe some chicken pieces and set you out some traps and you can catch some blue crabs that way now you're not always going to catch a whole lot of them so I basically if you're going to do this technique I would set them out months ahead of time and start accumulating your crabs you can put them in the freezer as long as you're putting them in there fresh because you want a good fresh crab and a frozen crab works just fine you know just make sure when you get your crabs out and they're all thawed and you hook it and you throw it in the water if it floats get rid of it you don't want a floater crab that's rotten and has no good meat in it because that, that redfish wants something solid that he's going to bite into so when you put that crab in the water you want to watch it sink if it floats get rid of it so this is one technique you can do get yourself a crab trap and go trap yourself some crabs all right and another place you can get fresh blue crabs uh, most of the time they will be frozen they sometimes do have live ones is certain bait shops in my area there is one bait shop 38 bait that does regularly carry live blue crabs some of the other bait shops during the redfish season they will carry them frozen frozen ones work okay it's better than not having nothing at all you know, like I said at the beginning of the season, that's what I start out with is frozen ones that I have kept throughout the year when I've been setting my crab traps. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, another way to get blue crabs is the way that I use mostly after I've run out of the crabs that I've caught myself and put in the freezer is I look up wholesale dealers and restaurants that serve whole live blue crabs. And I'll show you guys how to do that right here. All right guys, basically what you do just punch in your search engine right there, live blue crabs near me, and a whole bunch of these little arrows will pop up. And they'll give you all these little suggestions of all these different places. And what you do is you just click on one of them, you give them a call, and you start asking them questions. When you call these places, basically the question you need to ask is, says, do you also have live bait crabs for sale? Most of the times they will say yes because they either have damaged crabs that they want to get rid of or they have some smaller ones that the people really don't want to buy for food. So usually and most of the time they will have bait crabs for you. And most of the time they're either $3 to $3.50 a pound, which boils down to a dollar to a dollar twenty-five a crab, which is worth it in my book 100%. You get you 12 crabs for the day, a dozen, costs you $12. For a whole day of fishing and it's worth it if you want 20 20 dollars for a whole day of fishing and you catch some monsters 100 percent worth it in my book well i hope this helps you guys out a little bit just three ways of able to find some crabs because a lot of people have been asking me how do you get your blue crabs where do you get them so hopefully this video will give you guys some insight and where to look and how to do it because there's more than one way of finding blue crabs well, i wish you guys a lot of luck i hope you guys get out there and try it hope you guys get on some of these big red fish and I wish you guys a lot of luck. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope it was helpful for some of y'all. I've had a lot of comments, people wanting to know how I get the blue crabs. So I hope this gives some insight and shows you guys what to go through, what you need to do to come up with your bait for the day. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for subscribing to this channel. And for everybody that has not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that little bell for notifications. And I get to see you again soon here on the water y'all. Thailand's going